As a pastor, I've kind of seen both extremes, actually. I've seen people who want to stay up on that mountaintop. Spiritual highs are their thing. They define their faith by emotional highs. If they feel close to God, then God must be close. We don't put our faith in our feelings. We put our faith in the fact of what God has said. He is within us, whether I feel like it or not. And that warm fuzzy I might feel might be a result of the pizza I ate last night. Not the fact of that God lives in me. He's there. There's no doubt about that. That's the fact. And my emotions kept up with the fact of God's word. But man, they want to stay on that emotional high. I've known people like that. And I've known people the other way. They're all about the work. They're all about the grind. They squeeze out every ounce of love for God in their lives. Every ounce of passion, every emotion. They have no emotions. They kind of no, no spiritual highs. It's just the work and the work and the work and the work. And they forget about loving Christ in the work. Whether it's worship or work, all are to reflect the glory of God. Christ. And I think the reminder here for us is the Christian life is also about walking down into the valley and working in that valley and making sure that as excited we get about worship, as excited as we get about the mountaintop, that we get excited as well about the commitment to do the work of ministry because God is in it and God is all over it just as much as on the mountaintop. And remember this, folks, remember... For this day and for this age, the mountaintops are only temporary. They're designed to be, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's coming a day when we'll get to stay on the mountaintop. That's not now. For now, there's work to be done. For now, there's people who need the Lord.